Why, hello everyone, uh, Sean here, and the PlayStation 5 reveal uh, happened not too long ago. I, I watched it and uh, thought it was pretty good, right? Um, in terms of like overall presentation, the games, what they had, and of course the, you know, one to pretty much bring it home was the reveal of the PlayStation 5. Not a little cool, but I'll talk more about that maybe in another video or something like that. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to specifically talk about the games uh, for this video, um, uh, for kind of like a post thought sort of thing an actual, like a little more well thought out, uh, because I definitely wanted to, uh, elaborate on each game to its fullest. Like, um, I really realized of how much that stream didn't do the game's justice, um, in terms of like the graphics and stuff like that. If you actually go ahead and watch the trailers themselves for each game that you want to go you know want to go check out it, it's a lot better in my opinion because man uh, especially the frame rate on the stream and uh the way it was compressed and stuff like that stuff was happening to it um you know all the artifacting and stuff like that um felt like it kind of uh definitely butchered what the games are really going for so here we are. So we're gonna take a look at a couple of games that I'm interested in, particularly, uh, whether it's just for just lore reasons or I wanted to uh, actually check them out. So this is definitely one game I do want to check out, which is uh, Gran Turismo 7. I'm, I've always been a big fan of the Gran Turismo series. Um, you know, of course, being a card guy myself, uh, even even now, um, definitely it was a, str a lot stronger. The enthusiasm, the enthusiasm was a lot stronger uh, when I was younger, but uh, nevertheless, I still love cars to a normal degree. So that's why I would love to check this uh, game out. And uh, I I took a look at the trailer just like first couple of seconds and holy crap, it, it's already like million times better looking than the one from streaming. So the presentation, I mean. So yeah, uh, we're going to take a look at this and uh, just wanted to make a comment about it. So. Here we go. Uh, let's skip ahead just a little bit. Uh, right here. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> 60 frames, dude. It really, really changes the experience if you watch the trailers themselves. Like, holy crap. Now, sure, it's, you know, the stream itself was just the, the sake of, you know, the the overall presentation for Sony and stuff. And um, that will come with some interferences, whether it's the platform itself or just the streaming nature of things and the artifacts, the compression and YouTube itself, for example, or Twitch itself, for example, and just various experiences that people have with their internet and stuff like that. Now all factor into what the first impression would be like. So. I'm really already feeling like this is completely different in a good way. And uh, so, yeah, let's check further into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can definitely see the shine, the detailing, the glossy, like, sort of look on various surfaces and stuff. The helmet is like a mirror. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so mirror like. Um, you know, Older games weren't able to reflect, you know, the exact sort of um, reflection, um, at least to this sort of quality. So it's definitely um, really, really shows what the PS5 is really going to be capable of in the future. Um, you can definitely tell with the the surface of the car, the helmet, the way the shot, the the light, sort of, you know, glows through and stuff like that. The trees and all, all the foliage look way better in the trailer than the stream did which is why i had a completely different impression at first now i know you know people are thinking well that's really obvious blah 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 but still like even to even to that extent and here we are with a nice aston martin db11 and a metallic flesh i can you can i guess you can say or virtual flesh and just the way like the car is rendered the shine everything the reflections and all the gloss and the way it just 
bounces off and the reactionary thing, the leather interior, it's looks absolutely gorgeous. Tires, of course, the rims, dude. Boy, PS5 is really bringing it, really bringing it. And, you know, the various parts, of course, they they got, they got some real good detail, too. Nice muffler and all that stuff. Suspension. It does bring me back. It's not to say that the uh, Gran Turismo Sport wasn't nice looking by any means, but... Yeah, dude, when, once you check it out in 60 frames per second, you get to really see the trees, like, when, you know, especially when he's, like, kind of moving around the camera and stuff like that. The foliage really renders well. You don't, you don't, you don't have that weird, like, artifacting and stuff from streaming. There's really nothing in the way. It's just you and the trailer, you know what I mean? There's no middleman in this sort of situation. Review, review mirror or camera looks really cool. Yeah, this looks really nice. Very nice. L love the the little gl the glow you get from the sun. How the clouds like sort of diffuse it a little bit. Looking a lot like real life, you know. Really enhances that simulation experience. Yeah. Um now, I, I don't even know if this is all showing up too well on OBS and stuff, but I can tell you that, you know, if you just go look at the trailer yourself for Gran Turismo 7, announcement trailer, PS5 on the official PlayStation uh, YouTube channel, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. Looks absolutely nice. Absolutely gorgeous. So... That's pretty much my overall take. Um, very like, yeah, it was still positive from in comparison to my first impression from the reaction video. But man, it looks super nice in the trailer. So I really hope that that is the true sort of um, product that we're looking at, the final product. If not nicer by the time it comes out. Um, I'm not sure if they even come out with a release date or, or not. Probably not. It it may be uh well be a launch title, like I've been saying in the um in the reaction video. Cause there's no date on it. And yet when it comes to the other games that aren't quite launch titles, they have a release window of sorts. They have it like, oh, this season of this year, you know what I mean? Like 2021, most commonly looks like. And uh um, the PlayStation 5 itself doesn't have a date either, even to this, uh, even at this time. So, really seems like that they're trying to push this as a launch date, if not close to launch date. Uh, might be a month after, might be two months after, but whatever, man. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty much within like the reach of launch, uh, launch week, launch month, whatever you know, the launch period. But yeah. Um, Definitely brought my impressions up a lot higher, <laughs> you know. So yeah. Um next up let's uh take a look at Pragmata or Pragmata. This is the new Capcom game that's came coming out with the spaceman and the little girl. And yeah, man, holy crap. Frame rate is a lot more, I don't want to say stable, but definitely. Like, there's more room for, more wiggle room, I guess you can say. But anyway, it, there's no artifacting going on, so you can definitely enjoy and get a much better impression from here. Yeah, the girl's face, everything looks awesome hair is still the hair is still like there's still there's it's still ways away from being like super advanced 
and stuff like that. Hair is still a little stiff uh, for this gener or for this coming generation. Obviously, rendering real time rendering hair is really tricky. Well, uh, from what I can understand, um, it's especially um, if you take a look at like the commentary on, let's say, The Incredibles from Pixar. They tell you they they just you know tell you how really tricky it is when it comes to rendering um, hair in 3D, especially in real time. Um, that's a movie too. So, um, but that you know, I guess became a standard when it comes to hair in um, 3D animated movies. I guess at least for Pixar, anyway. Well, anyway, it doesn't look terrible. It looks a lot better than before. More looks more hair like. I will say. But still, um, in a lot of, or in some certain shots, it does look, uh, stiff. Yeah, all this stuff looks fantastic. There are still, there is some still uh, weird sort of compression artifacting, but that 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 is um, YouTube itself, so can't do anything about that. But um, definitely streaming. Oh yeah, this part you can definitely see like the detailing a lot better on the shoes and stuff, the boots and stuff. And the way they landed on the moon. And this part, yeah. And this one, for example, is coming in 2022. So this is uh, still ways away. Yeah. Um, here's another better look. Let's take a look at this. My impression on this one was a lot more mixed, um, from the reaction video for Resident Evil Village, or, um, probably the, the affectionate nickname for this game is Resident Evil 8. Yeah, the branches, the snow look way better. And I am definitely watching it on the same TV, so which is over there. <laughs> and it looks way better th um, when watching it in the trailer. Which is why I kind of had the first impression of like, is this an indie game? Is this something else? Wait a minute, you know what I mean? Like, I was kind of confused at first. This seemed not like an indie game, but... Okay, so the frame rate is still kind of rough. Like this. Like this part. A little rough. So that's probably... I don't know if the video... Um, exporting or rendering went rough during these parts or it's supposed to be some sort of effect i'm not sure so the frame rate is still an issue in this video but the quality the look and everything i can see the detailing on the grass the foliage this part The um, the structure, the architect, and stuff like that. Much better, much better in this trailer. Um, yeah, just everything else too. Apparently, this is supposed to be Claire, which I didn't even. 
<clears throat> excuse me, didn't even realize um, right here, which I, di I didn't even, could not even um, remember because of how, how, how the, um, the stream overall looked. And you can see, like, the, uh, well, at least on my TV anyway, I can see, like, the, the pores right here, little wrinkle right here on the eyebrow sort of area, pores right here, a little bit right here, lip detailing, some of her teeth and stuff like that. Way better, way better impression. Now this is where, yeah, like, this is some of the rough parts, like this face right here, maybe this angle or something like that. Um, now, yes, the game is still in development. This might be some, uh, like, alpha, quote-unquote alpha footage or something else, but, yeah. Now, I guess that's supposed to be clear as well. It looks completely different from the, um, from the other shot. But, you know, then again, it's um, much more broad into um, daylight, so. Um, and this guy's, like, wrinkles and everything. The facial hair. Way better. Um, I think they're doing that thing where um, they have the uh, lower res model for in-game. And then this is the more... Uh, let me just bring it up. This is the more high, high resolution um, in-game cinematic model, which they have been doing for... Um, well, a lot of games have been doing this, especially in like NK11, um, Guilty Gear, Ram Blue, and um, across other other games too. Um, Yakuza has been doing it, I believe. Uh, Final Fantasy uh, VII Remake for the most recent one. Um, you know, not completely new. Oh yeah, yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the detailing here, much better. Much better. Putting that RE engine to work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the, this shot right here with the lamp. Chandelier, what do you call it? The, the um, reflection on the wood, pan, uh, wood uh, material. Fantastic. This shot right here too. Composition, everything. Fantastic. Lighting. Everything. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, you get to see a better close-up of that. Giant chandelier and the candles and everything. Nice brownish, orangish sort of um, palette. Some of the green is sort of separating it. Um, somewhat. But yeah, this, you know, is an overall shot and everything. Much better presented here. More of that. Oh, this old guy right here. Who is this man? Is this like is this like is this like old Dante or something? <laughs> kind of kind of looks like it, right? Whoa. Honestly, I don't remember a whole lot. Like the all well the in betweens anyway. I don't remember this guy. I don't remember the lady like. I don't know, kissing your hand or some shit. Whatever, whatever she's doing. Yeah, kissing the, the wrist. Um, I never, I didn't even remember that part. Oh man! And now you can like really see like the detailing here. Like a werewolf type of thing going on. It could be something different. And yeah, oh yeah, this part I was like, whoa! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Chris? Sorry, Ethan. So admittedly, I did not even realize Ethan was on the floor talking to um, Chris Redfield. Because I was talking over it, so. Yep, and it's coming 2021. So, yeah. See, games like these, they have a release window of sorts, but not games like Gran Turismo and a couple other ones. So, makes me think that it could be a launch title, or some, like I said, somewhere close. Because, you know, the PlayStation 5 itself 
doesn't have a date as well. Why? And yeah, um, you can definitely really see the detailing in his face. Like, um, and it's really weird. Uh, it, it seems like, uh, like they completely rendered his face from the ground up. They didn't like take a model, um, like a, uh, what do you call it? Um, a 3D photograph, if you will, of the model's face, and then they maybe I don't know, maybe they did, I don't know, and they've happened to find someone who looks like an older Chris Redfield from the older games, because he definitely looks like Red Chris Redfield to me. If I looked at this guy, uh, with the Resident Evil context, I'd be like, is that Rick is that Chris Redfield? And even I think even the in the reaction video, I I said Chris Redfield, and then uh, and especially with his voice too, so kind of. Kind of gave it away. Sorry. Why? So yeah, I thought it was funny. Um, you know, it's very, very stark contrast from uh, Resident Evil 7 with Chris. Uh, I think that was Chris Redfield, right? Because I think his last name was... They only referred to his last name, which was... Re uh, Redfield, but I guess it was confirmed that it's Chris Redfield. It, it could have been his son, for all we know, or someone related to him, right? I don't know because I haven't played the game, so I don't, I don't have it exactly like memorized in my in my little gray matter, but but yeah, um, same sort of phenomenon uh, or effect. Great looking game, uh, or a great looking trailer, I should say, um, for a game that a lot of people are looking forward to now. So let's uh, take another look at another game, which is uh, the first one that came in the um, the presentation. I don't think they even show this part, so they didn't even, like get give it away. They didn't want to spoil it, like it's spoil the fact that it was um Spider Man. So a hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Your dad said that. He was right. Now it's this one. I didn't. Even, I don't have too much of a problem. I think um. The detailing and everything was still preserved within the stream at the time. But here, stuff like here looks fantastic. When he's moving about, the action is going to have um, going about. Yeah, um, his face is well rendered here, or looks well rendered rather. And not much to go off of. Um, now there is one thing I must say for the overall presentation for the uh, PlayStation 5. And that's the balance of cinematics and the gameplay. I think they did a really good job here. Um, I mean, in this case, I think this is mostly cinematic. But uh, point being though, I think they did a really good job, you know, dis displaying the gameplay unlike the Xbox Series X presentation especially with the gameplay thrown in there in the title so um i think they did a good job with the the titling the marketing and stuff the lead up you know what i mean um so that way people's expectations weren't in the wrong place per se but it seems like this is end game cinematics right and maybe we saw some brief um now I'm just pausing it here just in case, you know, the music is copyrighted or whatever, but. Um, but this one has a release date for holiday 2020. So that's probably around when the play, uh, PlayStation 5 comes out. I think this, this is definitely for sure the launch title. I think it is. So that's fantastic. That's going to be um, a great launch if that's the case. With this, so, I mean, I guess with this alone, but you know, because people, there are a lot of people who love the uh, Marvel Spider Man game. So, yeah, um, let's check out Horizon, even though 
I don't really have a particularly like strong interest to where I want to play it. This is the game to sort of like show off what the PlayStation is all about. You know what I mean? Or one of those games to show the capabilities. You know what I mean? But yeah, there's fantastic foliage, just like the other trailers. I believe this is in game. Their great cities. Yeah. Turned to graves. I believe this is in game. In their place. I mean, either way, it looks fantastic. Um. The uh, stream again failed to sort of. Well, this part here, I had a good impression in the reaction video. This um hermit crab, for some reason. Came out pretty well in the stream. Now I really get to see how well uh, detailed it is. These shots like that, uh, like this. Now this could possibly be a, a CGI cutscene, pre-rendered or whatever. The matter of fact. Still stands that the stream didn't present this as well as it could have. There you go. This is the end game. I believe this is in game. Maybe not. No secret. I won't unlock. Yeah, either way, though, these parts, though, are well represented a lot better than what the trailer did. I won't cross. Oh, this is in game. This mission is mine alone. Man, I'm gonna get. I'm, I might be blown away if this is all in game, because I can't really tell if this is CGI or in game. What's coming? But hey, man. PlayStation 5, man. Yeah. Really nice, really nice. But whatever comes. I will be ready. Uh did they have a date for this? No? I guess not. PlayStation. Anyway. Let's, uh, this fucking thumbnail, dude. So funny. So funny. Let's check out, take, take a look at the, look at the Demon Souls trailer, man. This looks pretty cool. As even though I, I don't play the Souls games and I don't really plan to, I don't really care about them for when it comes to playing. But you know, from a guy looking in uh, outside in to watch this sort of stuff, this this looks awesome. Yeah, this part is probably CGI. CGI. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> My eyes are being tricked here, I don't know. Yeah, there's some snippets of gameplay. Yeah, the, the, the start, this part, uh, in-game. Probably in-game right here.
Yeah, that part looked pretty sick. Yeah, and then people who love Demon Souls are as soon as they saw this title. Oh my god. <laughs> Funny. Looks cool. Um probably mostly CGI, so can't say too much about it. Uh let's see. Anything else? Hitman, not really. Uh this game, Bug Snacks, not really. Um Gran Turismo. Okay, we got, we, we, we got, yes, <laughs> just for, for the sake of comedy. The sake of comedy. Pre-alpha, everyone. This is pre-alpha. Before alpha. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm definitely going to mute this one. There's really nothing to go off with the sound. Look at, look at the look at the wood flooring way it shines. Look at that. Look at you see like every single grain of the wood. Right here and all that stuff. Right? Look at the sweat just reflecting off the light. That glare from the sweat, man. The the individual pores. As it seeps out the human fluid. The perspiration on this man. You can really see that he's really into the into this self solo scrimmage. And the way he dunks that friggin' rim. The way he puts it in, the way he just shouts. Really well rendered. Really well rendered. Look at that. Look at the sweat on his legs. Or his leg, rather. With that asymmetrical thing that he has going on. Now, the expression, mm, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Kind of kind of getting some uncanny valley sort of vibes. The teeth, you know. The neck, though. The neck. And the sweat, the full reflection of the perspir from the perspiration, that is well well rendered, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, to put the cherry on top, the rim comes down to convey the power, the enthusiasm on that sweaty, sweaty man. So enough of that. Enough of that. Right, let's take a look at, um, let's see, Godfall. That's another game that has some promise to it. All right, I'm going to pause this. Now, the combat uh, itself, it does look a little wonky. And the frame rate, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're going to go for 60 frames or, yeah, see, because some of the frame rate here, Kind of jumps around. It goes from 60, 30, and then just lower than that. So, it's hard, it's hard to say. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if that's from the, just the video effect. See, we don't even know if it's 30 frames with the, the motion blur going on. We don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. There's such a big mix of frame rate that uh, leaves me a little skeptical of the fidelity for the game, the robustness of the game. The armor and stuff kind of looks cool. The weapons look pretty cool. Uh, I just hope that it lives up to the promise. Doesn't have the same effect as like Anthem and Destiny. Um. Although the yes, Destiny performed better, especially with Destiny 2 in comparison to Anthem, but we'll have to see. It says uh, available holiday 2020. That's probably another launch title. I don't know if I'm going to get this right away, but we'll definitely see. It all depends on the situation. Also available on PC, 
console exclusive for a limited time. So, oh wow, there you go. Gonna be available on PC at some point. Cool. Very cool. Not much to say, but the uh, the frame rate is. I'm a little skeptical about that. Uh, let's see. Ghostwire. That's another one I'm actually have an interest in. Oh yeah. You see things others can't. There's a lot more style to it. Um Hear threats others don't. Nice boost of colors. There is actually some motion blur going on. Which I definitely could not see or notice in the stream. Uh, presentation of things. To you to save Tokyo. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, man. Um. I like the gameplay that they're showing off here. Doing some ninjutsu hand signs. And yeah, the overall direction seems interesting. Wire Tokyo. Um, yeah, looks very promising. Uh, I do like the themes around it, and also go on, gonna be on PC for or after some time, which is interesting. Very interesting. Um, yeah, not much to go off of either, but yeah, it's just a lot, um, you know, a lot of a better impression. Looking from these trailers, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, I don't know why they purposely left it at 30 frames per second for the presentation. But it is what it is. It did its job. You know. Alright, well, anyway, let's uh, take a look at uh, Ratchet and Clank and... Pretty much wrap it up on Project Athea. That's another thing I'm interested in. I did I do want to look at this just for the sake of looking at it, like the graphics and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Much better. Right back to no way. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we can... yeah, um, I said it earlier. It seems like they're really gonna show off the um, you know, the dimension jumping via um the SSD. That's supposed to be ultra fast for the PlayStation Five. Here's the gameplay. The dimensions are weakening considerably. How bad is it? The texture rendering is pretty fast, it seems like. This part looks great. Ratchet. 
Ratchet. We are too late. Ratchet? Who? There's the female, uh, Ratchet, quote unquote. I mean, is that also gonna be on, um, PC? Doesn't, they didn't say, huh? Yeah, plays an exclusive. That's it. This ain't coming on to uh, PC. So I guess there's some limits on what's coming to PC and uh, what's not, even after the time exclusive window. Okay. Uh, oh, right. There's a uh, death loop. We can check that one out before we check out Project Athea. Yep, just like everything else, looks great. The neon lighting. Nice orange glows. And the weapons look pretty fun. Ability, uh, the abilities look also pretty sick. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Bethesda, right? So... If I said, uh, okay, loop. Oh, okay. So, publisher, developer. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know what I went about on the whole like indie game thing. Like, I guess what I was trying to say is that, man, a lot of these games look like there. Obviously, there's there's the obvious indie games, right? Like, uh, bug snacks and, sh and stuff like that, but. A number of the a, a number of these indie games really appeared to be to have like a nice AAA sort of makeover or um, sort of helping to it, if you will. So it's kind of hard to tell, you know what I mean? But like I said, there are the obvious ones, but. But it's, uh, yeah, I don't, maybe Deathloop is not one of them. I don't know. Probably not. But anyway. Looks cool. Pretty interesting. Uh, probably wait on it a little bit and see how people feel about it and, uh, I'll go from there. Uh, let's see. What's this well, was another one that I was kind of interested in before we wrap things up. Uh, we don't need to look at that. Because we know what it looks like no matter what. Right. I think, um, yeah, Project Athea is a good, good one to uh, go out on for this video. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything... Looks a lot better presented here. Now I can see this part. This part. Ooh, yeah, right? See, there's some snippets of gameplay. Even though it still has a project name to it, they were able to still show off some gameplay. Unlike, um... The Xbox stuff. And also gonna be on uh, PC at some, at some point, so cool. Uh, let's take a look at that in-game part again, when she, like, jumps. Kind of has, like, a claymation sort of quality to it when, it, when it comes to the movement. This part, not so much.
development footage subject to change It is looking really interesting though. Designed for the PlayStation 5. That's really interesting. This is made for the PlayStation 5. Hmm. Bold statement. Alright. Uh, I think that's all we got right now. Overall, though, like, despite, you know, the shortcomings of the stream itself, the technical issues on things, uh, it did its job. It did a lot better than the Xbox presentation, uh, blew that thing out of the water overall. Uh, although they didn't show off vital parts of the console itself. It, uh, you know, they really showed off the looks of it shut off some accessories for it but i'm gonna leave that uh the rest of those thoughts for another video um but yeah overall we're just we just wanted to talk about the games and overall um the lot um some of those impressions are a lot elevated now a lot higher a lot better overall um i i um still feel um the same for certain games like Hitman 3 and stuff like that, but you know, again, it is what it is. Uh, there are still there are, there are going to be games that you're not going to be excited for. They're going to be probably going to be someone some of the ones you know that you are interested. I don't know. Some of them are a huge fan of certain games like Resident Evil, um, Capcom stuff. You know, Horizon, Forbidden West. People got crazy over that. I'm sure. They love the uh, Zero Dawn game, you know. Sackboy, even. From, uh, I forgot. The name still escapes me. Forgive me, but maybe if I look it up um, as I wrap up my thoughts. But uh, there are some, some sort of like sim uh, interesting ones like Returnal, um, kind of like the in a weird gray area. Uh, Our World Soulstorm never really got into the the initial game, um, so I never really got into the series all that well. So, um, don't really have too much feelings about that one, other than hey, you know, the visual side of things that looks pretty cool. But not overall super interested in that one either. Um, Destruction All Stars might be a random pickup. I don't know. Volcano High is a really weird one too because while the visual direction is interesting, I don't know about the game itself. Um, I don't know what they're going with it. Um, is it a visual novel? Is it like one of those games that? are very story driven like um like those david cage games or the life is strange um games and then you know i was about to say Str stranger things but i think it's called life is strange you know the that game with the dialogue choices you know with the girls and some superpowers um what else was one uh kenna uh that was another one that's Kind of sort of the gray area. Stray is another one too. There's a lot of these weird games that are kind of like leaving me a little unsure about, you know, where I stand. But uh, anyway, um, where is Sackboy from? I feel like it's the little planet, but my little planet, I don't know. Sackboy. Little Big Planet. Oh, thank you. Someone with the Little Planet there. Little Big Planet. I definitely remember those games because my friend was playing them for a good amount of time whenever I went to his house. Um, 
play a good amount of them, and uh, they're completely different games. Like it's all about level level building and sort of there's like this this um rune goldberg sort of thing going on uh a lot of puzzles i think you venture through with those kind of uh sort of mechanics going around it uh very physics based sort of game uh but now this one's like like a platformer um yeah you know uh not much to, to say about that but the point being is that there are people who like that kind of stuff there are people who like the playroom stuff. And so there's something for everyone, I guess, in this one. So I guess in that sense, this presentation was still pretty good. It's just that, you know, if you really want to get a good idea of what the games look like, what the PS5 is kind of capable of, then yeah, uh, I would definitely check out the trailers here. But you still need to look at the games yourself, I guess, to really get a best impression, a true impression. Of what the games look like. Which is why I would love to get my hands on Gran Turismo 7. Once that, once that truly comes out. Really look forward to that one. So. Anyway. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Before I just keep rambling rambling about video games. And PlayStation 5. I will uh, next time talk about the PlayStation, PlayStation 5 itself. The hardware. How it looks. Blah blah blah. More. You know. Uh, expanded impre impressions on that. Thoughts. All that stuff. Kind of like what I did here uh, for the games. Better impression, all that stuff. What do you guys think? Uh, especially after you look at these trailers. Um, leave those comments in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really helps out. Really appreciate it, guys. And um, yeah, so this has been my uh, post thoughts slash impressions on the PlayStation 5 games that were from the presentation as of recent. So uh, thank you guys so much. I will see you guys. In the next video, John out.